Hi, uh, welcome to Soil Structure Software. My name is Liban Afi, and in this video, we will demonstrate the use of Soil Structure Settlement Analysis Software. Because of the time constraints, we'll only show you one example in English units, uh, but in the middle of that example, I'll show you the different capabilities. So I've uh, opened up the program already up, and we have a choice of either English units or SI, this example will be English units and then uh, on the analysis you can either choose a uh, foreign that's continuous in shape square circle or rectangle this example will be a continuous foreign and the method of analysis uh, you could use Terzaghi and Peck you could use Schmertman et al that's Schmertman uh, Hartman and Brown 1978 paper uh, for uh, granular soils or if we have an embankment, we'll be able to choose embankment. So we choose Terzaki and Peck. Now in this one, we have here is the um, foot in. It's showing you it's two and a half foot wide. And for analysis purposes, we take the length of continuous foot in as 10 times the width. So L over B would be equal to 10. So foot in width is two and a half. The foot in thickness is uh, three feet so if we zoom in we will see that the foreign is extending one foot uh, above the soil and it's embedded uh, two feet in the ground okay embedment depth is two feet axial load uh, I remember this project was for a five-story a condominium building so it is uh, approximately three and a half uh, kit per foot the groundwater table was very deep and if it's deep the program you can make it equal to the bottom depth of analysis and the bottom depth is 20 feet so the groundwater is set to 20 feet uh, rigidity factor if it's perfectly rigid it's 0.85 if it's perfectly uh, flexible it's one so we left it at 0.85 maximum depth of analysis we'll start with 20 feet and then we will see if the stress uh, diminishes to 10% of what's applied and if it does then 20 feet is enough if it doesn't we'll keep increasing the analysis depth and in this uh, box if you don't check it you don't do a time rate calculation but in this case we will check it and do a time rate okay so the thickness of the clay uh, is 10 feet okay and uh, so oh, actually it's uh, let me check that uh, it's 2 feet minus 20, sorry, it's 18 feet. So we'll check the thickness of the clay as 18 feet. And uh, we have single drainage. It's to the bottom uh, or or up. It's not both. We don't have two granular layers, so it's single drainage. And coefficient of consolidation is uh, estimated as 0 0.08. You can click on here and see the values that you could use. Okay. All right, so what do we have? We have this soil, the upper soil, which is from 0 to 10 feet. It's cohesive soil. It's CL, clay, and it's a stiff. And the lower uh, soil is also cohesive, but this time it's ML. It's low plasticity silt, and it's very stiff as consistency. And so we, we put layer 1 cohesive. It's CL. The thickness is 10. Consistency is a stiff. You can choose from here, from very soft to very stiff. So in this case, we said it's step. And C sub C, when we did consol uh, consolidation uh, test, uh, we found out that the percent strain is 0.06, which is same as C sub C divided by 1 plus E. And the recompression ratio is 10% of that. So 0.06 divided by 10, it's 0.006. OC margin, you can click on here. And uh, this follows the foundation design textbook by Kuduru et al. And uh, we have uh, basically slightly over consolidated soil. And it says between 0 and 2000 PSF is the OC margin. And we happen to conservatively choose 300. Unit weight of the clay is 110. For the second soil, it's similar. It's cohesive, but it's ML. It's also 10 foot thick. But because it's very stiff, the percent strain was only 3%. So compression ratio, C sub C divided by 1 plus E is 0.03. Recompression ratio is 0.003, 10%. And it's the same 300 for OC margin and similar unit weight. So if we hit calculate results, 
and we say yes we want to save we see that the settlement is 0.91 inches that's the total settlement and the applied pressure to the foreign including the weight of the concrete self weight it's 1700 psf the drainage height uh, 18 is 18 feet and the, and the length it takes to uh, calculate uh, the time it takes for 99 percent consolidation is uh, 19.8 years so now we can say view table and we can take a look these are the node numbers and it goes down all the way to node number 60 so basically we're analyzing every point uh, three foot one third of a foot and here is the uh, effective stress over you know overburden plus effective stress foreign stress foreign plus effective percent strain and then individual layer settlement and then total settlement and so on on poor water pressure okay now you can say view all graphs okay and it will give you what the, the red one here is the effective stress and the green one is the poor water pressure poor water pressure is uh, stress because there is no ground water at zero okay and then the vertical stress is same as effective stress because we don't have any poor water and here is the chart that you're interested you want these two to be within 10 percent so right here it's given us if you look right on this area it's uh, 2284 and this is 2183 so uh, if we say um, let's see here calc take the calculator and then we say let's see it was 2280 let's see sorry it's 2315 by 2183 so uh, 2183 uh 2315 i believe let me see here uh 2315 is 94.3 percent so we are with uh we're more than 90 percent of the stress so we're okay as far as is, so is, this is this should be 90 within 90 percent of each other but now it's within 94 percent of each other so the stress has diminished so we're fine and the total stress sorry the total settlement is here 0.91 inches then now when we come to time time rate we can look at the table okay and it will give us the uh, we can expand okay. and it will give you the node the total settlement at zero years 0.03 years all the way until the 19 year period that we found out but if you'd like to see the classic uh, graph and there it is this is your time rate and you get to 99 percent console within 19 years okay so this is uh, the um, soil structure uh, software for settlement analysis you can use it in english units you can also use it in si units and you can do uh, an embankment as well uh, let me see if i have uh, an embankment well we have an oil tank example let's go through there there is an oil tank and uh, it's a 20 foot diameter if you click on the chart on the graph you could see that the uh, embedment of the foreign uh, or the mat is one and a half feet the diameter is 20 feet and the thickness of it is 0.85 feet and we're really concerned about the settlement of the cohesive layer so you have five feet of granular layer and then you have five feet of ch even though it's firm it's still cohesive and then we have granular layer below that okay and uh, <laughs> so in this example we have si units okay and here is the embedment depth one and a half meters axial load it's thirteen thousand five hundred kilonewtons groundwater depth is five meters so if you go over you could see that the groundwater is five meters below the ground surface and time rate we're going to do it the thickness of the clay is five meters but because we have sand above and we have sand below we call it a double drainage layer it's not single but it's double okay and here are the uh, granules layer one is granular layer two is cohesive layer three is granular 
These are the layer thicknesses. This is the consistency, loose, firm, medium dense. And um, we're really concerned with the cohesive soil. It's C sub C over 1 plus E compression ratio is 0.12. That means it's 12% strain. That's quite a bit. But it's only very thin. It's only 5 meters. So, And then the OC margin, we estimated as 30 kilopascals. And here are the unit weights. So if we hit calculate and then uh, say save, then we get the uh, total settlement of the tank is 48 millimeters. Applied pressure is 78.4 kilopascals. And the time rate for 99% consolidation is 0 0.6 years. So if you want to view, here are uh, all the graphs. Now we want to know that this and this are within 90% of each other. Okay, so let's get that calculated out. Okay, and then this is 200, you could just say 200, and then this is 179. So 179 divided by 200, it's 89 and a half. It's not quite 90%. So in this case, we'll come back to the maximum depth and just make that uh, 70 meters. And since we know this sand layer goes to a great depth, it's all right. So now let's calculate. Say save, yes. Okay, so the time rate is still 0.61. But when we look at all the graphs, okay, so now this uh, is, two, uh, let's see, 217. And this is 199 or 200. So it is, it's 200 over 217. It's within... 90%. So it's 92%. So that's even better. Okay, and that uh, shows you the analysis for an oil tank. It could be water tank. And let's see finally if I have a uh, an embankment that we could use. Yeah, we have an uh, embankment example. Let's open that. And this happens to be in English units, but it, you can also use it as SI units. Anyway, the embankment happens to be uh, the length of it, 70. Okay, so let's go here, and uh, there it is. It's 50 feet, and it's 15 foot high, and into the page is 70 feet. And the uh, pressure that it exerts is 78.4 uh, PSF, okay? And then we want to do time rate, uh, because this is clay, and clay, it would only be single drainage layer, okay? And uh, maybe we can reduce this to 0.05 square foot per day. And then here are the soils. We have layer 1 cohesive, layer 2 is cohesive. 0.07 is the strain, 7%. 0.007, 10% of it. OC margin is 300, and then unit weight is 115. So let's say calculate, say yes to save in. And now we get the total settlement of the embankment. That's 15 foot high is 4.51 inches. The total stress applied pressure is 1650. And the amount of time for 99% console is 22 years. So what you would do in this case is add width drains to speed up the consolidation process. Um, so if you have any uh, questions or you'd like to download, then you go to soilstructure.com. Okay. Thank you very much.